If you're watching this, then there's something you should know. Some of the things that that we've learned about survival. And like Mr. Ritter said, our only hope is that others will find these journals and and learn from our mistakes. I suspect you've done things you wish you'd never done. But even if morale and supplies are low, you can still keep your spirits high. Because there's a, a fire that burns inside of you. You tend to keep it warm. Because if the fire goes out, Key to success out there starts here. You visualize, you bring your hatchet back, and then Good news, we got nutrition. <laughs> Bad news. Zed got a piece of me. Blood plague. It's important to me to, to let you know that people here have survived this by, by helping one another. Raided their meds. We can cure you. We can cure you. Day six eleven. Still got some fire left. This is my first medical log. It's day 540, I think. No new infections today. But we lost Kate. And I've been chosen to replace her. Log 543. No new blood plague infections today, but 
lots of new tools and meds. Log 560. I am attempting to practice my stitches. <laughs> the irony here, if this qualifies for irony, is that my dad told me to go to med school. So. Log. Never go scavenging with Kevin. <laughs> because you'll dislocate a shoulder. And now I'm gonna attempt to reset it. that we politely ask them to return our stuff. Starting with the meds. First medical log, day uh, 600 something, I don't know. Um, no new infections today. We found Lynn's body last night. <laughs> 